That's correct, Sean. Right now they're in the process of boarding up this building. Now the fire was reported around 8.15 this morning. One woman saying that it spread so quickly that it was literally a minute and her whole first floor apartment was engulfed in flames. I woke up and there were flames coming out of the back bedroom. That's how Tuesday morning began for Anya Maynard in her Maple Street apartment. It was flames like the whole doorway was lit up. I couldn't see. Maynard woke up her husband and in the course of fleeing the first floor apartment alerted the upstairs neighbors. We heard the uh, woman that was staying downstairs haul a fire and saw the smoke so we just Grab things a man. But Jill Diebel was on the third floor and says the building was filling with smoke. My thought was to open the window and get some air. Firefighters were quickly on the scene and made their way up through a back staircase to rescue Diebel and her pet rats. When I saw the firefighters there, I was like, oh, okay, this will be okay because I'm not that high up. The fire chief says they knew they had to knock the fire down quickly as it doesn't take long for the fire to spread in these older buildings. And the conditions were getting worse by the minute. It was very hot. Uh, there was a heavy fire on the first floor and there was smoke throughout the rest of the building. But firefighters were able to contain the fire quickly, although the building did suffer significant smoke and water damage. The chief says there were a total of eight apartments in the building with 10 people living there. People who, like Anya Maynard, are wondering what they'll do next. Everything I own, everything I own gone. The fire chief says they believe the fire started on the first floor. And while it's still under investigation, at this point, there's nothing suspicious. As for the residents, the Red Cross is helping them find a place to stay. Reporting live in Manchester, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.